Guys, welcome to a new series, Black Ops Cold War. I don't know much about this campaign. Playing a Call of Duty game, usually all the campaigns are generally very good. So I'm hoping this is going to be really good. Hopefully it's a very smooth game and the gameplay is as good as what it was in Modern Warfare. I don't, wasn't really sure if I was going to play this or not, but I thought why not, you know, gameplay should be okay. And hopefully the story is good. Like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I just hope that I play it all the way through. And I hope you guys really enjoy this series as well. Please do go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss my uploads. And let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you guys have played it, what did you guys think? Uh, please don't spoil it, <laughs> obviously. And yeah, let's see where it goes. I hope you guys like it. All right, let's do it. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. They'll look the other way. Adler? Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember me, sir. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust dump. We don't want to let him down. All right, interrogate and neutralize Javadi. You know, I actually saw, I actually saw the comparison between this uh, on PS4 and PS5. I don't have the PS5 yet, um, and you really can't tell a difference. Like maybe in the frame rates, but not in the graphics. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the scene waiting. Oh, Woods. Party favors are in the trunk. What an OG. I remember this guy in like, I think Black Ops 1. I'm pretty sure it was 1. Absolute beast. Alright, what do we got? MP5. Man, it's so hard to pass up an MP5. I don't really know what sort of like... Alright, let's just go with it. It's got like an M4, I think. Should probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. Safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? He's seen as info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. So apparently there's like a lot of talking in this game, like not a lot of gameplay. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him ring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. All right, I think this is it. Go, go, go! Headed up the stairs. 
Oh man, this is like... Yeah, I don't, the, the guns are loud. I'm really thrown by that. Like, it's... I don't know if my headphones are too loud, but... Yeah, few, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Get me some cover! Finding cover! See if can't escape! Find him! I think I'll stick to the MP5 for now. Move! Let's move! Oh shit. <laughs> Absolutely scared me there. Am I supposed to take this guy down? Ooh, alright, what's this? Initiate a brutal melee killer grab, R3. Okay, so I can hold it down for a body shield. Let's try that. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, so you can put a grenade on him. I don't think you could do that in any other... Oh man, I don't know why, I think I haven't played a shooting game in so long, like I'm really... I just feel very sloppy and all over the place. I don't know if I'm tired or what it is, but... So far it's it's um It's pretty fun so far. It's pretty good. I just shot him, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to do that. Alright, so I wasn't supposed to do that, just restarted my checkpoint. Alright, moving up. Look at this guy, trying to do like a commando roll. <laughs> Didn't really work out for him. I'm so tempted to shoot him, like... You know what I noticed, I just want to quickly note as well, like I was doing this just before. With Modern Warfare, you could put the gun on like, on your hand and look around the corner, but I don't think you can do that with this, I was trying to do it like... You know when you aim down the sight? I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is so sick. Nowhere left to run, Cassie. We can work so hard. Ooh. You're up, Mason. Oh, this is the thing that I was showing like in all the previews. Wait, wait, wait! Uh, tell us where Arash is, you messed up. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a badass. I just handle the money? I have no idea where Arash is. I don't think you understand the situation. Oh, shit. You Americans have rules? You have rules? You took hostages. The rules changed. Uh, tell my friend something or I can't stop him. Uh, let's just keep it to short talk. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't Turkey 
He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Oh, you actually get the chance to throw him. Right, let's go with that. That sounds really wrong to say. <laughs> Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. The weapon that he has right now, it seems like it's pretty high tech. I did they have this sort of stuff back then? Like isn't it 1980 something, like 1981 or something like that? That's really weird. It it, it feels unnatural for some reason. I don't know, maybe they had it. I don't know. Mason, check it out. That's not him. Any sign of a rush? All right, so I gotta look for a rash. I think that's him in there. He's on the. I think he was driving. Oh, wait, no, this is him here. Oh, Oh, I was trying to throw a grenade, I didn't have one. Oh, that's Woods. <laughs> Jeez, he got this so quick. Alright, let's go. I'll see if I can get him on the sniper. I'm so bad at sniping. As you can tell. <laughs> oh man, he's so bad. I might go back to um, XM4. Looks like they got an RPG. Oh, I see car. Uh, accelerates the boost. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that boost. Shit, man. How does this thing? How is this thing going so fast? Oh, almost. Oh no, I didn't get it right. Alright, here we go. Take two. Oh, almost there. Come on. Got it. Ooh. 
damn man that was how's that for <laughs> cinematics <laughs> Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods. Plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. Few weeks later. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
All right, so it's given us the option to select classified. What exactly am I selecting? Uh, I don't know why this is asking me my name. Oh, do I have to fill out this whole thing? I don't think I really want to. Alright, so I think this is actually... You're sort of creating your own character who he plays Bell, I think. I don't know, this is kind of weird. Didn't really give me many options. Didn't really tell me what I was supposed to be doing here. Right, let's just see what's... Um, I don't know if this changes the storyline or not. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty handed as well. We'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOG. That's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. Retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Alright, so I've got to select the mission. Thank you, Agent Asman. Alright, use the evidence board to select the mission, replay missions. This is kind of interesting, I haven't really seen this before. Alright, so I think basically the way this game is, you find evidence, you pursue it, and then you move on to the next bit of evidence. Evidence being like a mission. Um, this is the only one I can select. Oh, hang on, you can actually rotate this thing around, right? That's so weird. Alright, so first you examine the evidence. It's kind of like a bit of background, I think. And then you launch it. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know if... I think examine evidence, it kind of seems like... I don't know, it just kind of seems a bit distracting. I don't know. Alright, so it actually wasn't letting me go through it for some reason. So it said that I haven't installed a second part of it, which I'm installing now. So it's going to take me a little while. I might just leave it there. I know that's really not okay. Like, I wanted to make this like an hour long session, but... Yeah, this sort of installing thing is really weird. I kind of wish that everything was installed all at once and not doing it in segments. I don't know how many segments it's going to install it in. I just wish that it would be all done. Anyways, I'm um, a little bit annoyed. I want to keep playing. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, my first impressions is this, that uh, you know the, the, the gun gameplay is really loud. Um, the story seems interesting so far. I haven't really given it much of a chance yet to say anything. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it open book and we'll continue on in episode 2. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please go ahead and leave your comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.